Previously on building Benny's movie park. So let's go and make this area a whole lot higher. Very rough, just a basic sort of shape. This is the shape I'm going with. This right here is going to be the entrance. Then this same sort of thing I'm going to have to do to the entire restaurant. This is starting to look very nice, don't you think? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another episode of building Benny's movie park. Today we are going to work on the outside area once more. I'm going to start by smoothing out all these areas, after which I'm going to add some more of these rocks again, which is obviously, as you guys know, a lot of fun. This is going to be kind of random, nothing too crazy here. It's a simple change, but it does really make it look better already. Like this blocky stuff is, is just hideous. Recently I was thinking, since some of you guys commented it as well, maybe I should go and stream this sometime. I always thought that would be kind of boring since it's a lot of building and you know just the boring stuff I cannot cut that away but you guys really seem to want that so I guess uh I mean, I'd definitely be willing to try. So if I am, you'll probably get a notification and then uh, that's super fun. Enthusiasm. Wow. I think now this entire area is done. Of course, there's the corner still, but that's not really important. Right now, I want to see what this is going to look like if I start adding some rocks again. Our favorite thing to do. I am going to place my first rock right there. Now, the question is what material? Yeah, well this. Then it's up to us to make this look nice and um, rocky. Since, like I mentioned in a previous episode, I want this to look a bit canyon-like. I'm not sure if this is the best way, but I guess we'll see. I mean, rocks of literal sand doesn't seem like a fantastic idea, so we're gonna have to do this anyway. What I do like is that the rocks are finally a different color. I've seen enough of gray by now, like it's refreshing. And for these rocks, I'm actually gonna try to make it some sort of layered almost. I think that may look a bit better since I'm going for this canyon vibe but once again we'll just see i have no idea where we're gonna go from here on some spaces i'm just gonna leave the sand as it is i think that actually looks kind of nice to have some open spaces that show just a little bit of sand so i'm gonna keep doing that throughout the whole sort of landscape because as we know variety is super important i already forgot how much work this is this does look kind of cool though right just a little now mainly around the caves i just want this to be nice and nature-ish nah. He said it again. Natural, Benjamin. Natural. And all these sides as well. Very nice. Um, yeah, this is really all the same stuff. You know how this goes. A lot of this stuff I'll probably be doing off screen because it's just way too much to do inside one video. So, well. But right now we're gonna do something else because on top of this mountain I wanna build Jabba's Palace. The layout of which is actually super simple. It's one super fat big tower and then two little ones on the side. So let's see. I'm gonna build the super fat one right here this is the middle and maybe we can actually use the same structure as the hogwarts tower but i'm not sure yeah we definitely can use the same structure it's the same except it's a tiny tad little bit bigger because i figured it just wouldn't have been big enough otherwise now this i'm going to have to make um uh, maybe something like this i think shouldn't be too high and then that same height all around the tower just like so dum -da -dum -da -dum. Yep. that is freaking beautiful Beautiful. Then let's go and paint this and I think maybe rock is a bit too rough, isn't it? Let's try concrete instead. That's more like it. That's the base of the palace. Then we need to try and remake the roof, which is actually going to be the hardest part. I guess we can just make like, uh, like this, something like this. Ah, yes beautiful and the last one there you go it's not perfect it's not beautiful but it's for sure good enough especially if you just look from below now these are actually a bit darker than the rest so let's paint them a bit brownish that actually seems pretty accurate so then we're gonna need a few of these layers which is gonna be uh, quite a lot of work actually let's first make this extra area on top that we need which obviously is a bit thinner than the rest of the tower and a second layer of this sort of stuff i should really uh expands my vocabulary it's all things and poles and edges and that sort of stuff nothing else there you go then this second one has to be that same brown reddish color as well very whoops absolutely fabulous how the heck am i gonna make that roof like that that's literally impossible. I'm just going to try something very ambitious. I I hope it's gonna work. The stuff I have, I'm just tilting a tiny little bit so that hopefully I can go from there and make it a bit more round. But who knows? I doubt this is actually gonna look good in the end. Okay, okay, so far so good. Now the question is, how are we gonna go 
up. We might be able to get away with this. But it's gonna create some weird stuff, I think. Look, this kind of stuff. But this still isn't very bad. It could have been far worse. So let's just go and push this through. And then maybe we can do this, then rotate it, and then one more. See how that looks. Yeah, so this is creating kind of a mess, but it's still not horrible. Like, it's not nearly as bad as the roof of Hogwarts. So you don't hear me complaining, to be completely fair. Let's finish the entire roof like this. This is a super satisfying effect, though. Actually, like, it's not supposed to be there, but it kind of looks nice, doesn't it? You know what I need? I need a drink. Ah. I'm gonna love some, uh... Sparkling less coke. You know what I just realized? Now we need yet another one of these on top of it. <sighs> I'm just gonna go in speed mode right now. That is pathetically rough, but we'll just say it's supposed to be this way. Then for the last one, could we pull it off one last time? Yeah, no, this is gonna be one Z fighting party, let's not. We need to find some other way to do this. How did I not just think of this? This fits perfectly. It's like it's made for it. Wow. Okay. Okay. That just turned amazing. <laughs> then we just want this tip on top. To decorate that, I'm gonna put some tires on it. There you go. Very nice. And that actually looks very si- that looks very similar. It's a bit hard to see, but on the lower area, it's a bit more grayish. So I'm going to do this as well on my palace. There you go. Maybe we could make some sort of window effect using these lights. Just putting them on the lowest brightness and making them a bit orange like that. That could... That totally works, yeah. Very similar to what I did at Hogwarts. Let's try to add these on all sides. Not sure how that's gonna go, but we'll see. I think that is not even that bad. It's it's not bad. It's not horrible. Although I don't really like this gray edge. Even though it's accurate, I'm just gonna get rid of it because I don't like it. Maybe we can do some rock texture instead. That actually seems nice. Then for the second tower, the tall one in the back, I think, we can actually use these for that one. Since it seems pretty far away, let's go and put it right here. And then let's see how high this one has to be. Wait, maybe we should move it a bit to the left. Never freaking mind. That is more like it. Now, how high are we going to go? It sticks out quite a little bit, maybe like this. And then on top, we put this one. There you go. Is that about right? What a beautiful natural shape that is. Its shadow is even better. How the hell am I supposed to make that? Hold up. This is not going to be perfectly round, but I really don't care. This is, uh, whatever. It's already a miracle that I'm attempting this in the first place. Okay, now that is a serious problem. I guess this is the only option. Oh, that's not good. It's just getting worse. Then we can do the exact same thing just right below like that. It's, uh, it's almost the same, but we will just roll with it. It is fine. Otherwise, this is never going to be finished. The tower is not actually all that fantastic at all, but... I... Anyways, then there's one last tower we need to do, which is the little one. So let's just go and quickly finish this up. There you go. And this one is a tiny tower. Luckily, with a very simple design as well. There has to be more to it than just this. Not not really. <laughs> not really. It's, it's all very simple stuff. To spice it up, I'm going to make those tiny little stairs you can see there. They're very tiny. I'm gonna make those here a bit bigger, of course, otherwise you just can't really see them. But I'm hoping this will make it look just a tiny little bit better. And most of all less boring because there's barely anything going on here. Then we can put this window wannabe door right here. Now isn't that beautiful? Then let's go and put some rocks around these structures because it's a bit plain and boring up here. Don't like that. You know, you can see the resemblance between this and Jabba's palace for sure. Especially those who actually know Star Wars. Sure. I just find it a bit boring here, but there really isn't anything there in the real thing either, so I guess we'll just have to leave it like this. And I know what you guys are thinking, in here it has to be the Rancor cave... thing... cage... whatever. That's absolutely what's gonna happen. First, however, I'm gonna make the entrances to this cave a bit nicer, because uh, right now it's kind of a mess. Not something I'm a fan of, so let's go and fix that. Very, very nice. Okay, that's looking a lot better. Then, let's see if we're gonna go in. What are we seeing first? Obviously, it's going very fast, and it's quite very dark in here as well. At the entrance here, I'm gonna build that sort of gate that kills the ranker eventually. I feel like that could look pretty cool. Then the question is, how are we gonna make those spikes? We can't just do it like this, of course. Just like so. 
that's actually not even that bad then let's paint these metal there you go then it continues on the side here like that that actually looks pretty cool if you ask me now inside it should be just rocks again i think although these rocks are going to be gray again because that's how it is in the movies then we just gotta make sure to cover up the entire inside of this cave because we don't want to see any of that sand sticking out that would definitely not be very nice i'm thinking maybe gray is a bit too gray what about a more dark brown color like this this seems like something we can work with or maybe just this gray color would that be nice i feel like that's pretty good too besides we can always just paint it later now let's go ahead and torture myself once more and make this entire inside rock that is just fantastic ladies and gentlemen fantastic i'm so close to being done so close just this last bit right here almost the last little piece there you go and now the entire tunnel looks like this which is actually a lot better than before the only problem is it is pitch black so in order to fix this we are going to put some lights in here otherwise all of this effort will have been for nothing and like in general if you'd ask me was all this effort worth it no but it's done now so we may as well just use it let's put a torch right about here then we will increase the brightness there you go and the range oh that's nice and then this one i'm gonna put uh maybe like uh three times in here there's the second one and the third one there you go like this yeah that is actually uh very nice very nice so now that that is looking great um i don't think the rancor is gonna fit in here and even if it did i don't think it actually would look very nice so let's instead just put some bones inside just for some nice scenery there you go we'll just say that the rancor is on vacation looking at the whole thing now it does look very cool actually but i'm just thinking like this stuff i'm gonna have to do all over the bloody place and i mean like all over the bloody place so um that's not really fun so that's gonna be uh quite interesting to say the least anyways i think for today then we have done quite enough if you have any fun ideas i could add for this area since there's still a lot of empty space left let me know down below in the comments and then i'll definitely go check out and see if you guys have some fun ideas and then i think that's it for today if you like this video make sure to leave a like and a comment and if you enjoy my overall content feel very very free to subscribe because i noticed a lot of you guys aren't actually subscribed so that would be amazing then i hope i'll see you in the next episode of building benny's movie park